yesterday, or excuse me, last week at this time, we were dining. Yeah. We had Ron Cohn's. Ooh. That was very generous of them. Wow. Oh, my gosh. What a spread they put out. Yeah, yeah, that was awesome. Great folks over there. Yeah, yeah. that was awesome. Good people. But today we're in the summer mode. Okay, yeah. okay. let's do Feeling it. The past weekend was Memorial Day. You yep. got the family picnic thing. And I like going away from a picnic saying to myself, wow, what was in that salad? Or, yeah. you know, or typically people are saying that about my stuff. So. <laughs> yeah, natural. <laughs> and they want my recipe. <laughs> natural. So and Jerry's I, like, well, okay, I'll give it to and you. And what I, you know, this isn't rocket science, but what I do is I take like the best of ideas and I think of what kind of will go with each other. So I made up this little salad and it is incredible. So what I did first, um, I blanched some regular green beans. You know, we snapped off the ends, cut them in half, and I blanched them, um, and then I, I shocked them. Mm -hmm. You know, you, know, you shock green beans, you, know, you, you tell them, you're going to juvie. Right, right. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. So, yeah. So, so, uh, throw them in ice water. They're, so, they're still green. Three minutes, okay, no, so I got that. one day, you know? Exactly. And then I've got some uh, cantaloupe. Nice. Okay. And your choice of pasta, I, I like farfalle. Mm -hmm. You can get colored, too, but I thought that the colors of the beans and the melon would be perfect enough. So let's make the dressing up. Okay. Very simple. When I worked underneath the uh, a German chef, master chef, he taught me this dressing. It was very common with his cucumber salad, and I've always liked it, so I use it for a lot of things. That's a cup of mayonnaise, one third cup of sugar, and basically one third cup of white vinegar. Hmm. And that's it. And uh, it just has that perfect little bite to it, like that. And then I'm going to whisk that up. Okay. okay. Now, there's already vinegar in the mayo, so that kind of sure, sure, but this gives a little gives nice. a little more punch. Yeah, I could, okay. And you could also use, I've done this with a yogurt, which is nice, like a plain yogurt, and that's really cool. How about a Greek yogurt? Could you use that? Opa. Opa. <laughs> well, of course. Greek yeah. yogurt is really good, and it's actually a little bit thicker. Yeah. All right, so let's start throwing this together. So I'm going to put my melon in here. All right. Now, do you okay. scrub the melon before you, you cut it? I know they recommend that these days. You know, I've never scrubbed my melon. No. But I'll show you how I, I cut it if we got time okay. to the end. <laughs> yeah. So that I don't have to scrub it. Oh, okay. I, I get the rind right off. My beans, now if you want to taste one of these beans, it's got a little snap to it. There's crunch. A little, little Dante. Mm -hmm. Which mm. I'm the guy that walks through the garden and eats most soggy. of the stuff raw. Yeah. I love it's not it, soggy. You know? mm -hmm. No, it's not soggy. Farfalle. Okay. Red, Red onion. onion. Now you want to make this salad the night before which I did over here, so we'll be able to taste it a little later. Because yeah. it, it, it gives it that little, uh, you know, marriage of all those flavors. Okay. Okay? Okay, a little salt. I could have thrown that in my dressing as well. I'm going to pour the dressing over the top. Not too much. I like you just want to, like, lightly. a glaze or yeah. something. Yeah, you want to glaze it, exactly. You want it swimming in it. I got a little Parmigiana. Mm. Nice. I'm going to throw that in there. You know, uh, my dad was a big uh, uh, fruit with salt guy. Always salt in his apple, salt in his melon, salt in his watermelon, mm -hmm. and the Parmesan kind of gives it that. Okay, mm -hmm. the saltiness. So then you spin that around. That looks good. Yeah. I love the colors already. That's oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, as far as colors, you can see that how pretty that is. We'll say you, you with we'll your eyes too. Mm -hmm. How easy is this? Right? <laughs> so easy, and um, you just had a little bite before we came on, and yeah, it's incredible. You could also put uh, some candy pecans in there if you want a little more texture, which I've done. And you're using stuff that you're finding a lot, you will be finding a lot this summer. This time of year, absolutely. Green beans, the melons, and that kind of stuff. Absolutely. All right, I'm going to pick your brain here because I could sure. see myself bringing this to a picnic or whatnot. What would you surround this with as far as, like, other main things that you might throw on the grill or something like oh, that? Oh, sure. I mean, this is, you know, basically a pasta salad. It's kind of a takeoff from that broccoli raisin thing that people have overdone. <laughs> and, oh, my. I've, so done the bean, I've, I've done never the bean quite had thing. that. Yeah, yeah. 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 And, I, and it, it's so overdone where this is so fresh. So, you know, this is this can go with with a nice steak dinner. Sure. Like okay. you're doing steak on the grill or hamburgers and hot dogs, you know? Yeah, I was It's a great say, accompaniment this, for anything. This could replace Mac salad or Absolutely. something. Absolutely. See, what I love, too, you got the fruits. It's so light, I could even see fish with this. Like, it's just... Oh, yeah. It's because so of the lightness great. of it. And now I'm going to destroy every vegan's dream of having making this. because oh, this is where I, of I course, will I'm going to put the bacon on the mayo, so. Right. Yeah, that's true. So, <laughs> he's got the egg. <laughs> and then uh, I like to put a little bacon on it for that extra saltiness over the top. Which is nice. What don't you put bacon on? I, don't, yeah, I can't right? think of anything Jerry, that I don't put Jerry, bacon Jerry's on. Jerry loves his bacon. Oh, man. All right, I'm going to let... I've already tasted this. You tried it already. Yeah, yeah. Go I'm going to let you... Uh, okay. Uh, so some fresh see. herb would be nice. Uh, some mint you could add with this, you know, some tarragon, Ooh, mint, something really? like that. Yeah. yeah. But this really is an amazing combination. 
Whoa. Isn't that, un it's, it's shockingly delicious, I think. This when did so you good. invent this? Uh, the, about, let's see, during the holiday weekend, I did the broccoli salad thing, and I'm like, there's got to be something better than this. You know, I do love broccoli, because yeah, it's yeah. so good for you. But um, oh, the melon wow. thing, I've never seen in a salad, but I'm like, you know, the Italians with an hors d'oeuvre, they do the uh, prosciutto sure. wrapped melons. So yeah. I'm like, wow, bacon, melon, that, that vinegar dressing would be delicious. Yeah. No. So kind of over you, the past you, week. You just, right? yeah. Spot on? That's... And the bean thing, it's important to get El Dante. Yeah.